What up, boys? So, if you're unaware and you don't follow me on Twitter, which you should, by the way, my Twitter handle is this. Go follow me, boys. Keep updated, and I post a lot of stuff there relating to videos and stuff as well. So, I'm trying to grow my social media as well as my own channel, so I'd really appreciate it if you go chuck me a follow over there. Anyway, so, I posted on Twitter about making an Apex video, and uh, a lot of people were telling me off, uh, off uh, Twitter that an Apex video would be pretty cool, so I'm like going to be playing with some mates and stuff, and make an Apex video, just for fun. Um, and I jumped on the game just before, and, well, yeah, Season 3 they changed the whole, sen how the sensitivity works, right? So in Season 2, and in the original season, you could just put your uh, ADS multiplier to 1.3, and that was pretty much close to hip fire for all scopes, and it worked for all scopes really well. But they've changed it, so in the actual command prompt lines, like you see all commands and stuff, they've changed a sensitivity FOV scale command and a FOV scale command. So depending on your FOV, your sensitivity is always going to be different, which is annoying, but you can work it out mathematically, and that's what I did for the one and two times scope. So I've worked those out and the other values that I will we'll be showing soon are just ones that I got off the internet. But I worked out myself the 1 and 2 times scope to make it literally 1 to 1 ADS. And yeah, I'll put some videos up now showing the difference between the first video will be the original with it just set to ADS multiplier on 1. And then the others will be using my settings. And then I'll show the settings and just close out the video with some thoughts and stuff like that. Okay, so here's the first clip. This is using the regular 180s scale. I'm going to use the do the hip fire 360 test right now, and as you can see, it lines up almost perfectly. Um, and then this is ADS on the 1 uh, 1.0 scale. You notice the massive difference, right? How slow it is. Okay, I want to keep, want you to keep that in mind. And now I'll show you with the values. Um, I'll put the values on screen now. And then I'll show you the about like what it looks like when using the one and two times scope. Okay, and here we have the on the new values. I'm going to do the hip fire test one more time just to make sure that it's identical on screen. So doing the hip fire test now almost lines up perfectly again. And now with the ADS, the one times. So you can, as you can see, yep, perfect. And now for the two times. Okay, two times. Let's have a look, it should be exactly the same as the one times. Doing the 360 test now, going back. There we go, almost on the money, perfect. So if you want the settings, I'm gonna put them on the screen one more time for a little bit, just pause the video and copy them. Um, if you wanna play around with the, anything above two times, I recommend it as uh, how the scopes work in this game is they zoom in depending on the uh, optic level so if it's a one times it doesn't zoom in two times slightly zooms in and etc etc up to uh, the level 10 scope um, and how that works is because the FOV is changing it it changes the feel of it so if you want to have hip fire sensitivity on say like a six times it's going to feel very different to having a hip fire on a one time so it's all tweaking and you just got to find your, the balance yourself but one and two times is perfect and if you want to keep it like that then yeah so yeah that's it hopefully that helps someone and if you're new here why don't you consider checking out my channel and if you like my content why don't you consider subscribing and helping the course i'm trying to hit 1k subscribers so I can get this channel monetized and if you like I said at the start of the video if you want to follow me on Twitter and help my social medias out you can do so I'll put the link will be the first link in the description or you can just type in my at which is at indexk1d and uh, that's all so yeah thank you guys have a good day